Sir, Clooney, known to be political, but has he found his limits with this matter? I mean, this is a matter of national security. Look, I really don't think that what the American people want to hear is a liberal movie star, George Clooney, lecturing them about loosening their border constraints right before he goes into a meeting with the Chancellor of Germany so that he and Angela Merkel can lecture the people of Germany about how they should open their own borders to refugees. People have legitimate concerns about the refugee influx from Syria. The list is the threat of terrorism, the proportion of economic migrants among these refugees, and people feel like uh, they're losing control of their democracy. They don't have a say in policy anymore, and you couldn't illustrate that, that sentiment any better than with a picture of Clooney and Merkel. Uh, what do you think, though, of the fact that in Germany, I mean, people were attacked on the street, young women were accosted, molested, in some cases raped. I mean, I'm assuming Angela Merkel brought this up in that conversation. Well, I, I think a lot of progressives or a lot of liberals sort of lack the intellectual framework to understand how something like that kind of sexual violence is even possible, because I think deep down folks like Clooney and his wife and, and Merkel really believe that there, there is no difference uh, in a person, whether they come from a place like Syria or they come from a place like Germany. But the Middle East, places like Syria, the treatment of women is not There's just at, at the standard. There's a huge cultural <laughs> gulf. Like Absolutely. Thing. So... Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your point. Sorry. No, absolutely. And, and, and so they have no way of understanding this. And, and so as a result, they don't recognize the concerns that people have. Okay. I'm going to shift gears to another kind of tone, if you like. Kanye West held a refugee camp fashion show, no other way to describe it, at Madison Square Garden in New York City. So it was just this nod as far as fashion models dressed like refugees. What do you make of this? I mean, it, it, I'm, I can't lie. I'm somewhat speechless at this. I mean, is this real life? Is this a sketch on Saturday Night Live? Uh, if this were, were in a novel, if this were in fiction, I would tell you, you'd have to stop. It's too unrealistic. Nobody will believe you. Uh, I mean, what a, what a ridiculous, sick, empty exercise. I mean, whatever your opinions about the refugee crisis and how many the United States should take and so forth, I mean, this is a real humanitarian tragedy. You have one region in total collapse. You have another region, Europe, being destabilized politically by it. And the response is to, to have a, a fashion show. I mean, come on. Well, I guess he, he wanted attention and he got it. Now we have whether it's good attention or bad attention, we're so glad to have you here. Thank you very much for your input. Aaron McLean joining me there.